Hi y'all, it's Lacey, the Catholic Icing Lady, and today I'm gonna show you how to draw St. Pope John Paul II. I have an extra special devotion to him because when I was in high school, I was able to go up to Canada for World Youth Day and see him in person, which was a super, super amazing experience. I also have this drawing available as a printable coloring page if you don't want to draw your own, and the link is in the description below, so just click over to my site and you can print him for free. Okay, let's get drawing. So St. Pope John Paul II is a super modern saint. He was canonized in the year 2014, so that's not that long ago. His feast day is October 22nd. We're going to start with a slightly curvy line that goes across the top of his head like that. Then we're going to connect it with a big U shape. There you go. Now we're going to put another curvy line across the top of his head. There, that makes his little hat, which has a funny name, it's called a zacchetto. Now I'm going to add in his hair, so I'm going to put one piece hanging down on the left, one piece hanging down on the right, and a little piece in the middle like that. Okay, now he gets two curvy lines for his eyes. And he's going to have an open mouth smile, which I'm going to go ahead and color in black. Now we're going to add his neck. And popes wear a thing that it kind of looks like the thing your priest wears around his neck, except for the pope, it's all white. Now we're going to add in his first arm, but I'm coming from the middle like that because he actually has a red kind of a cape. Okay. I have his one hand waving up in the air because when you see pictures of St. Pope John Paul II, he's very often waving at the crowd. Now we're going to bring his robes all the way down. And then I'm going to add his shoulders in and you can see how that makes his cape. And I'm going to bring that all the way down as well. There we go. Now I'm adding his waving hand, and I'm just going to shape it kind of like a mitten so I don't have to draw all his fingers. I'm going to give him the same kind of hand on this side, but I'm stopping after his thumb because he's going to hold this big, long stick with a crucifix on the end of it. Pope John Paul II often carried this special crucifix and now that you know about it, you'll notice it. So the thing that made his crucifix different than everyone else's crucifixes is it kind of bent down. See how I'm bending the sides down? Almost like it's slumped down or bent down. Just like that. And once you get that all the way in there, we can draw his fingers on the other side of it. There we go. Now I'm going to put the cross around his neck, so he would wear a big cross. Then I'm going to make one small line coming up and two lines that hang down. See how I'm drooping it down? It's kind of shaped like a W. That's always what his cross necklace looked like. Okay, now I'm going to add in his feet and I'm going to point them out just a little bit on each side, poking out from under his robe just a little bit.
Now we're going to add in his sash. So we're going to put two lines like that, then two lines hanging down a little bit to the right, a line across the bottom. Now I'm just going to go around this square to make it seem more like a knot on the top, then some fringe hanging down. I'm going to go ahead and start coloring him with my markers. So the thing about a Pope is his clothes were certain colors. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the colors that he really would have worn. Because if you color him other colors, like let's say if you color him with red clothes, it would look like he's a cardinal and not like he's the Pope because the clothes they wear are actually uniforms. They symbolize to us that these are leaders of the church and the different colors and ways that they wear their clothes tell us exactly what their job is in the church. Okay, so if you look at the piece around his neck, it looks a lot like what your priest is going to wear around his neck, but except your priest has one that's black with a white square, but the Pope just wears white because the long robe part is called a cassock and priests wear black and cardinals wear red and the Pope wears white. So most of his clothes are just white. Now, sometimes the Pope wears a red cape when he goes out. And so I decided to go ahead and add that in. He doesn't always have to wear it, but I did draw it on this one. So as you can see, I colored in his necklace a golden color. So now I'm going to go around that necklace really carefully with my red marker and make just his cape red, but not his cassock. His cassock I'm leaving white. Did you know that Pope John Paul II loved to ski and even when he was pope he still found time to do that sometimes and he skied until he was 73 years old isn't that just absolutely amazing do you think you could still ski when you're 73 years old i hope i can that is if someone taught me to ski to begin with because i cannot ski Saint Pope John Paul II also met several other people in his life that also went on to become saints, including Mother Teresa and Padre Pio. So now I'm going to color in his shoes, and I'm just going to give him some regular brown shoes. Now some of the popes choose to wear red shoes. Usually in the church, red is a color that symbolizes the blood that is spilled by our martyrs. So some of the popes wear red shoes, but he did not choose to. So that's why I put the brown shoes on him. I'm going to go ahead and color in his staff yellow to match his necklace. Then on the things that are white, I'm just coming in with my light blue marker and giving him kind of a shadow on the edge. So again, his cassock is just white. Now his cassock would have 33 buttons going down in the middle, one for each year of Jesus' life. And it's really cool because your priest wears a very similar cassock with also 33 buttons down the middle, but it's black. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this shadowing around his sash in the middle there too. And on his neck. So on his sash that goes around his waist, or also known as the fascia, it will have the papal coat of arms embroidered on it. So I'm just going to put in a little yellow to kind of symbolize that right there. I am having so much fun drawing these saints with you guys. I'm so glad you requested more saints. I absolutely love them. If you're looking for more fun saint activities for Catholic kids, you might want to check out my printable peg dolls. All you have to do is paint the head according to my directions that I provide. Then you print the special peg doll wrap and cut it out like this. Then you put Mod Podge on your wooden peg and it just wraps around the peg. Just like that. 
you put another coat of Mod Podge on top of it to just decoupage it on there and you have yourself what looks like a hand painted peg doll in no time. I hope you enjoyed the how to draw today and I can't wait to see you guys back here next Friday for the next one. Check out my other videos while you're waiting. God bless.